Right, we're here in uh, New Zealand and I am catching up with Jenny Dunmill from Stable to Stirrup. Firstly, Jenny, hello. Hi, how are you? I got it wrong. It's Ginny. I, I <laughs> said it, Jenny. I knew I got it wrong for a start. Um, Stable to Stirrup. Give me a little bit of a history about what this is about. Uh, so Stable to Stirrup was formed by a group five years ago, actually, at uh, fifth birthday in a couple of months. So that's quite exciting. Um, and the idea was to start a charity to uh, help with rehoming off the track standardbreds. Which is such an important part of the racing. I mean, we've had some major announcements this week. Yeah. Um, but we need to make sure that we've got a you know, life after racing, if you like. And it yeah. doesn't always have to be in an arena here. It doesn't always have to be the ridden form or anything along those lines. But it's an important part. How did you get involved? Um, so I've, on over the years, on and off had standard breads myself and mum used to bring some home for me to have a go at and, and that and then um, I got involved with Hero um, a few years ago and then the opportunity came up that they were looking for someone to take over operations of Stable to Stirrup and I put my hand up and... Now, a year later, I'm here. <laughs> Do you enjoy it? Yeah, I love it. Yeah, yeah, because I was rehoming on my own for quite a while, and financially, it's quite hard and time consuming, and that, and to be able to carry that on on a much bigger form is so awesome. How big is Stable to Stirrup? Uh, so, we've rehomed, I think, nearing 200 horses yep. um, over the five years, and um, you know, and we're often rehoming like multiple a month and that kind of thing, yeah. Yep. How many do you have in work at the minute, or how many are you trying to find homes um, for at the minute? So, we've got nine horses at the moment, uh, plus many on the wait list, yep. and I had a message about another couple more today, and <laughs> it's just constant. And then we've got uh, one for sale at the moment, and about four coming up for sale, too, yeah. So, if people are interested, in buying one um, but maybe maybe don't have the finances yet or things it's still a good idea to reach out touch base because you might not have that horse that they're after yeah so it's a it's one of those ones that there's always horses coming through so you you might be able to sort of source that horse for them if they reach out and talk to you about it yeah definitely so like I always say to people like keep an eye on our Facebook page it's the best place to see updates on the horses and like if you see a horse that you like the look of flick us a message like we can happy to answer any questions and that and yeah go from there what's the greatest strength about a standard bread? Um, oh, just their like versatility. Um, like I've got my partner's uh, horses a standard bread, and he's just an awesome happy hacker. Jump on him after multiple months off, yep. no issue. Great to have around. And then I've got another one, and she's just a great way to like turn out to be an awesome wee sport horse. Jumps all sorts, but has just still got that amazing standard red temperament that you can just do anything with, and it's just great to have around. If they can jump, I mean, I'm, my daughter rehomes quite a few, and if they can jump, they can jump. They and they they love it. And there's, you know, I think you're only limited to your imagination after that as to how high you want to jump yeah definitely like the one i've got at home she's just awesome and um like i actually have to slow her down coming into a jump she's like take me there yep. um and we just um popped over um a couple of them yesterday here um and some jumps and one of them flew over it probably cleared it by two foot and i'm going oh my god <laughs> maybe you need a new career <laughs> well they, they definitely they definitely could um I did have a great question. It just left me. I love that. I wrapped myself up and so it was a great <laughs> question. But, but I mean, um, you say one of those challenges, I suppose, what are the challenges with trying to rehome a standard bread? Like a lot of people probably get misconstrued ideas about them. I think there's definitely like a stigma about standard breads that they're, um, they're not as like versatile as a thoroughbred. Like a thoroughbred can go off and have a quite fulfilling sport horse career and stuff. But standard breads are just awesome to have around there. You know, they turn out to be great happy hackers great trekking horses um, the amount I've had that like love going out in the hills and love adventuring um, that's the best thing about them and that's what people need to look at more um, yeah they just though oh they've got a brand and they're a standard breed I don't want them um, yeah I think people need to look past what their brand is and what their breed is and then go from there it's a tattoo. It's not a brand. Yeah, it's a tattoo, and there's everyone wants tattoos at the minute. So yeah. I don't know. I don't know the the problem with it. But I mean, they are they're stamped for life. That's what they are. They've got a tattoo there. You know who they are. But they're your horse when you get them. Yeah, and I think they're having a brand is great because the man I see, you know, I'll go to a competition. I'll see another standard bread out there, and I'm like, oh, cool, another one's out there doing it. Yep. It's um, a bit of pride and that kind of thing. In Australia, the the. The judges, I suppose, at a lot of the shows and that, and for a long time, saw a, a, a brand, and they they would hate it. People were covering them up. Now that's not an issue. They don't they don't worry about it. Is it the same in New Zealand? Um. 
Um, there's still a bit of stigma about it. Um, they're definitely getting better, um, but a lot more people are taking their standard breads out and they're doing dressage, show jumping, eventing, like, which is awesome to see and it's just trying to get, you know, working through that. N not every standard bread's going to jump the moon or do amazing dressage, but there are some out there that are really good. And, and look a lot of the time with horses it's one of the greatest misnomers it's not always a horse sometimes it's the person they might not be able they might want to think they're going to be a you know a great champion three-day event but they unfortunately don't have the ability so sometimes you know people are limited you know that in that sense so whereas a standard bread's very an adaptable horse it'll take them as far as what they can yeah like i've had a lot of um older people come look at horses and that and they're going look 20 years ago i would have wanted to do dressage and show jumping and eventing but now i actually just want to go hacking out with my friends so yep. standard bread's perfect okay, go on the beach, got some beautiful beaches here yeah. in New Zealand you go riding on or as you set up the hills and the standard bread will be able to do both, won't freak out at either No, no, sometimes they're a bit not the keenest on water but um, often they turn out to love it and then you can't get them away from it. <laughs> yeah, no, that's, that is that, that's exactly right um, You've been a part of the industry for so long do you enjoy it, the standard bread industry? Yeah, definitely, yeah, so um, just getting to know everyone, it's so friendly, everyone I talk to um, want to catch up and, and that kind of thing, it's really nice to be a try to different equestrian industry yeah one of one of the big things is i think a lot of people when they see the racing horses and horses being raced they think that you know basically they're just a number to race them make a dollar out of and then move them on but you know plenty of people want them to go to good homes plenty of people want to know where they go afterwards as well like where they end up after that yeah definitely like i um got one to rehome and I got it through someone else, not the original owner um, that had him in his race career and they actually tracked me down and rung me and had like, I had like a half an hour phone call with them. Uh, they wanted to know exactly what he was up to, how he was going and then wanted to know where he's gone since and, and that kind of thing. And that's awesome to see, like I love seeing that, it gives me the kind of warm fuzzies when I know that I can pass on great news to owners and that. And stir up the stable, I would imagine that's part of the deal with having so many other people there, they can help with that, they can help facilitate those things as well. Yeah, definitely. So we've got Hayley who takes care of our admin and she's often in contact with owners and like we have a um, Facebook group uh, where owner, like the current owners of horses can post about their horses and updates and stuff and yeah, we like to be able to put that up on our Facebook page for the original owners and the trainers and that to see what their horses are up to. Such an important part of our industry. I think a lot of people sell it short, they don't realise as you said there before the Hero Programme, they do great things as well but so are you. I want to keep getting these messages out there. If people want to get in touch with you um, for two reasons one to buy a horse or two to you know potentially rehome a horse what's the best way to do it uh so through our facebook page and through our website and then mm. it'll give you all the contact details for us and that is just um st stable to syrup yep i won't stir up the stable just before you should have corrected me i'm i'm good at getting things wrong don't you worry about you were nervous before this you're like he's a goose this bloke yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, very good jenny thank you thanks for reaching out um and all the best and as i said it's an in invaluable part of our industry that we need these horses rehome people to know what they are um and realize that they're not just a number for so many of the you know the trainers as well i think trainers knowing that you guys are there would make life a lot easier for them as well oh yeah definitely like the ones that i've got the standard bridge my own like i keep in touch with the trainers and and let them know how they're getting on and it's just nice to see that the horses can go off and live such fulfilling another career for them yeah. um yeah no, and i love that absolutely they do jenny thank you enjoyed today i uh, wasn't sure but uh yeah thank you very much for joining me and well done for everything you do yeah thank you and thanks for chatting with us